Did you know there are actually two different sets of primary colours? We have our additive primaries that work for light, red, green and blue. Each of these selectively activates a different type of cone cell in our eyes. Then we have our subtractive primaries that work for pigments. Each of these actually absorbs one of our primary colours of light. Let's explore how these different sets of primary colours work. Isn't that cool? The primary colours of light actually mix together to give the primary colours for pigments, cyan, magenta and yellow. And all of our three primary colours of light mix together trick our eyes into seeing white light because you're activating all of our cone cells. Let's see how that's different to subtractive colour mixing. So what happens when we mix magenta and yellow pigments? Well, yellow blocks most of the blue and magenta blocks most of the green. So we just get red left over. With magenta and cyan, magenta blocks most of the green and cyan blocks most of the red. So we are left with blue. With yellow and cyan, yellow blocks the blue and cyan blocks the red, we are left with green. So the primary colours of paint actually mix to give the primary colours of light. And mixing cyan, magenta and yellow all together, well, that subtracts all of the colour and we get black. 